Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are at the tech store and we were checking out, is that a Harrow? Oh, well we are checking out these big bad boys because we need something bigger for our horses. Oh, that's the one. 100 gallon. Why do people buy these metal ones? Or these metal ones? Why do people buy these ones? They rust out so much. But what makes them buy that? When you could have plastic that lasts forever. This is smaller. Yeah, but bigger than what we have. This is 70 gallon. Yeah, so we can even go 70 gallon because of the space. It's bigger than what we have. I should have wore a coat. Holy cow, I'm frozen. Yeah, what do you think? Big one or small? One? Your choice, it doesn't matter. Maybe you should go with the smaller one because of the spot. The space we're gonna put it in. And it would last. Like right now we have to fill water up every single day, which is fine, but every other day would be nicer. Now oh, this is cool. It's a snowsuit. Oh, I love that. So we bought it. We ended up buying this one. Oh. Oh. And there we go. We're the proud new owners of another stock tank. And now we're gonna stop and get some shavings and we're gonna be all set for the day. But please comment down below why you, like what is the benefit of metal over the plastic? Obviously metal you can clean better. Actually, I think I read up on this one time. Plastic can scratch when you're cleaning it and then it can hold bacteria, I think I read. But I don't know, every, metal stock tank I've ever seen has never been never held up the way that the plastic ones do but I would love to hear your experiences with either so yesterday Ellie swam in the duck pond let me tell you she was disgusting but look how gorgeous I love fall you guys so I kept her in this morning usually she does chores with me in the morning but this morning I was like forget it like she I need to shave her today that is on my list of things to do but anyways I wanted to tell you guys that our massage lady came yesterday and it she we love her even the girls come out every time she comes because they just love her and so it was like a party we closed this door up we had all the lights on and storm stood here tied up we didn't have to like hold them or anything and we saw when we sat on these chairs and just hung out it was so fun I forgot this is stuff I have to take inside and wash. But it was awesome. It was so awesome. It was like just like a big party room. It was super cozy. And we had all these doors closed. Like this part of the barn is the coldest. So that's the one that we use at night for the ponies because they stay in here. And that's the one that we use over here. Sam's cleaning it out over there, the new one. But now that the horses mostly eat hay over here, they're always coming in here to drink. So this thing literally empties. Like this was already three quarters of the way full this morning and they empty it so fast. You want me to empty it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, why did I do that where the shavings were? That was dumb. Ah. Ah. So we could use that for anything. We could use it uh, to put hay in for like the ponies or for the goats or we could use it for a duck pool because the ducks would actually be able to swim in this one. So let's see our water buckets. I don't know why Penny's got green, but anyway, these are Penny's water buckets and we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do for winter because this barn is gonna be cold. Oh, look at her salt lick. There it goes. It's too bad we don't have like something that we could hang it on. Sam's stool. Anyway, we'll use this. I don't know if we'll use it like in the summer. Oh, here's all my buckets. I'm thinking that I'm going to move this to the goat barn because now that we're not weighing hay or, or soaking hay, uh, I could use this to measure milk. Can I use this thing for the goat? For what? Measure milk? Well, I measure milk by weighing it. You weigh milk to see how much they, how much they give. You need to keep track of how much they they, how much you milk from them because some are good milkers, some are not. There's like a lot of reasons why you keep track. Why are you digging? Trying to level it out a bit. Whoa. All right. I'm ordered another couple round bales now that we tried it out and we decided that we really like it. 
We're just waiting for them to arrive. And when they do arrive, um, we're gonna lock the goats up. This is like the last time that the goats are gonna be out browsing around. We're gonna lock them into their area now and set it all up for winter for them. Like it's crunch time, you guys. So for the winter, there, do you want me to get it? So for winter, there will be no goats and animals. Oh my gosh. Traveling around the farm, it'll just be goats in their own area. There will be no more goat poop or pee on the hay bale. <laughs> it will just be horse stuff. Sam is having us. Uh, for the winter, taking this whole barn apart, like taking this railing off, take this railing off, move this railing across, and then the horses can come in. Use the whole barn. Yeah, so if it's like really windy over there, I can close that door and they can come in. Yeah. And then if it's not windy, open the door and they can go right through. Yeah, I or love if it's it. Really windy on this side, I close this door and they can they have this whole barn. I like it. So just for like the winter. Yeah, just for the winter. So you just keep the door like the stalls closed. Yeah, the stall, these stalls would be closed. Oh, well, that door would be closed, and then this would just be an open space. Yeah, so this can this can move across. Oh, okay, and yeah. Can move across. So he's so he's saying that this could block off that area over there. We could put a gate over there so that the horses couldn't get over there, but they'd have access to all this area so that they could come in and be inside when they want to. Yeah, we want to move these mats anyway. Yeah, so this could be like a hole. Yeah, I kind of like it. Comment below what you think. Sophie wanted to do for her birthday that we didn't get to do yesterday because it was pouring rain was a comment back to the place where she got crawfish to begin with and it is gorgeous now it's less gorgeous in the camera it's so pretty though the moving water the rocks the trees in the background it is actually super slippery be careful Gabby on the rocks so pretty, holy moly. She brings one of my bowls. <laughs> anyway, this is where she caught the crayfish. You just gotta flip over rocks. Just gotta flip over rocks. She's learned a lot about crayfish just from watching them. Oh, there's one. They just run under this rock. Yeah. I got the rock. She got the, oh there, oh wait. <laughs> We brought Molly. I left Ellie because I didn't want to give her another bath. So Gabby's finding them. Oh, oh, no, oh no, he's there. gone. Oh God, Sophia! <laughs> I got him. Oh, she got. Oh, there's a baby one too. Don't have any water in there. Oh, oh, that's a. What is that? Oh, he's upside down. It's a baby. You got to put some water. Put a little bit of water. in there. Hopefully he doesn't jump out. There we go. There we go. Does he have something in his face, in his mouth? Oh no, that's his it's tail. Okay. I'm gonna need more water. Oh, Mom, stop. Mom, no, that's water enough. Everywhere. They need, he needs to be able to get out of the water. It's not like you. My nap babies. <laughs> that's where all of them came from last time. All right, well, let's flip it over. You no, because then you're ruining their home. Oh, that's true. Not a bully. Molly's like, I'll go. Well, I got another one. <laughs> this is like I'm the one. easiest. You're not can't get too many. You don't want them fighting in the tank. Well, I'm catching babies. This That's water. a feisty one. She wants a girl. I love this little path here. <laughs> good, good one, Gabby. That'll get them. That'll well, scare them out. I'm trying to hit the rock. Oh, look at how gorgeous it is here. Yeah, Sophie wants to stay here for the next three hours. <laughs> Whoa, be really careful. I know. If I find a snake, all bets are off. I'm like out of here. Yeah, you're 
Yeah. One snake. Oh, look at over here. It's so nice. <gasps> look at that rock. So I want to get the girls, a, or Sophie especially, a rock tumbler for Christmas and get into doing rock stuff because th that's cool. Did you fall? <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Are you okay? She loves her <laughs> Good thing she left her phone in her AirPods at the car. My kids cracked me up. Oh, we didn't bring a towel. Yeah. Oh, well, you only I live once. Molly. She's like, is it cold? This is kind of cold, she says. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's just beautiful here. We told Sophie she could do anything for her birthday. She could go out to eat she could do anything for her birthday and this is what she picked this is this is where she wanted to go we do have a bunch of plans coming up with her with her friends these rocks are really slippery all right let's not go there then gabby's learning to skip rocks that, that one didn't work okay here's mine Woo! why does yours go <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't go like straight. It goes boop, boop. Cool. <laughs> I love when they... Did she get one? Yeah, she put her mouth right down underneath the water. <laughs> she puts her face in the water. See? All the way in the water. Gets a giant rock. And then brings it out. That's, the one that I threw. that's not the one you threw, but it's giant. Get it. I'm gonna have to buy tanks. All right, this is it. This is the, oh look, there's a red one. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh my God. There's a bright red one. Oh my God, there's a ton. There's a lot. I don't think you can take any more home. Look at that big granddaddy. Yeah, that's the only one that's big. And do you want to leave any here? No. All right, let's go. Here, can you carry my net? Sure. Yeah. All this used to be underwater, so it's super slippery. Go over here, Sophie. You fall and land with- that's crayfish all over your face it will be not fun all right so we made a stop on our way home they have a world famous donut place near on the way to where we got the crayfish so these are the donuts that everybody loves even molly's got her nose there anyway they're super famous so we stopped to pick those up so yeah. look at you guys do you see it that is sophie's ankle Something bit her in the water. It's probably it was the rock that scraped it. Maybe he got scraped. No, by. because it's, it wasn't. Hurting. Did you feel it pinch? No. What the actual heck, goats? <laughs> what are you doing? What in the heck? You're gonna fall. Get back. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. This is not acceptable. <laughs> Storm, did you let this happen? <laughs> oh my God. I need Sophie's help. How am I getting them off of here? Come on. Oh, look, Storm. <laughs> Storm's like, I'll oh, get them. Don't worry, I'll get them. <laughs> you guys, how insane is that? We came home, it's raining. We always make jokes about how in the rain, bad things happen. Like the horses get crazy and run around and act crazy. And now the goats <laughs> don't like the rain. So they just come in here and eat all of our hay. Come on, I'm gonna have to go get grain. See what Sophie says when she comes in. Storm is eating the hay too. Look, we threw hay in there for you guys. Storm. <laughs> oh, you can't go out. You can't leave guys. Do you like your new water bucket? Here, I'll throw some hay in there for you guys. I mean, they really wrecked it. Here. Everybody can eat inside, it's raining. <laughs> I mean, everybody else is eating inside. Why shouldn't you? There's a black cat and they're eating our grain. Oh my gosh, get off the hay. Look at Blossom. Do you know who else was eating the hay? Storm. Yeah. Is Sophie coming? Yeah, she's coming. Just throw them back in there and then I'll block this off. All right, so it's technically it's Sam's fault. 
he has an opening here. He's going to fix it. Go. Okay. All right, come on. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Go. Come on. Out you go. <laughs> come on. Get back under there. Go <laughs> back where you came from. Get. Don't scare get. them. Get. 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 Was it just four? No, there's get. one missing. Come on, boss. Who's in heat? Go. Go. No. <laughs> go. There's always one troublemaker. <laughs> She's like, you can't catch me. So we're gonna have to lock everything up now. You get going. Get in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now they're eating the horses hay in here. <laughs> they're like, it's raining. I'm not going out there. Tomorrow, I think, is the day that we're going to close them up in their own a little pasture. Just a little swollen. Yeah, I'm gonna clean it and put some cream on that, Sophie. Anyway, that is it for today's video. We are gonna see you guys tomorrow. We have something super fun planned with the horses. We're going someplace with friends and it's not a trail ride and it's gonna be a lot of fun. You gotta stand there. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Wish us luck <laughs> and we'll see you guys tomorrow. a hundred feet away without them breathing and be brave positive thinking a little closer every day you'll find it within you'll find it within she might feel the same get out there get your shit together then you can say at least i tried with the first step oh.